Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining my channel, Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I'm going to do an explosive Dutch pour flower. I haven't done one in a while. Um, I've got the most amazing colour scheme, which is purple, gold, Venetian rose, white. Um, and I've done a Catherine wheel um, explosive Dutch pour and I've done a pinwheel uh, explosive Dutch pour, but not a flower explosive Dutch pour in that colour scheme. So I'm going to complete the three. Um, can't wait to get started and see how, how this compares to the other two. Let me show you the colours I'm using. So the other two paintings had just these five colours. So Venetian Rose by Amsterdam, um, Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Red Blue, Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, Montmartre Gold and Mon no Amsterdam White. But those by themselves aren't enough to make the flower. What I need is some green around the outside. So I'm using this green, which is, I haven't used this one before, Chrome Green Hue by Pebio Studio Acrylics, and then the iridescent green yellow and the white. So I'm going to create a flower in the center, and then I'm going to surround it with some green at the edge. Um, they're all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, which means I've mixed them with Flood Flower Troll. I'll put the recipe in the description for you. So I'm using a 50 centimetre square canvas. I've just put a cross in the middle to in, across the canvas just to mark roughly where the middle is. Just trying to decide about the order of these colours. So what, what I'd like to do is have my flower about here. Then I'm going to have some white and then I'm going to have some green at the edge because I don't want, I'd quite like a little bit of a gap between the flower and where and the green starting. I think the best thing to do is probably just to outline the flower first. Um, I'm going to do this totally freehand because I don't want it to look too perfect. Um, right, quite happy with that. It's quite a nice size. It's not perfect, which is what I want. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that just for a moment. I'll think about just putting some white around the edge next. So that I think there's going to be quite a bit of white, maybe a couple of layers, a couple of lines like this before the green starts. So I'm going to add some of the Venetian Rose just inside this flower. Right, I think that's enough cut, enough paint now. There's lots and lots of gaps, um, especially around the edge. But the idea is that this, there's so much paint in the centre, it's just going to blow out over. Um, I could fill in more gaps, but then I'll have far too much paint on my canvas. I'll be wasting it and also it will flow differently. Right. <clears throat> I think it will make sense if I do, if I blow it, in the direction of the petals. Yeah, right, Let's see what happens.
Right, I'm really sad. I just don't like it. It's not worked. The edges of the petals have not worked. There are some amazing features about it. I love the border. It just doesn't work, though. It's going. Oh, it's going, it's going. What a shame. What a waste of paint. Never mind. I'd rather waste just the paint than waste the paint and the canvas. So I'm going to do it again. Right, wish me luck, attempt two, and I'm really nervous because I don't want to waste this paint. Um, did, I've done things slightly differently. I've put pink on the outside of the purple. I've added pearl white instead of white around the edges. So just a slightly different order. I'm gonna try just blowing out just the corners first. talking that is so much better <clears throat> oh my goodness so much better you can see the flower you haven't got any massive white patches the cells are popping up they are beautiful right this is it i'm not going i'm going to try not to touch this i might tweak it slightly but not much because I'm happy, so why? Why bother doing much to this? This is beautiful. I was, you might have heard me tut actually, because when I first did that first blowout here, I just, 
I, I thought, oh, it's a disaster, it hasn't worked because it hasn't blown over the colours properly. But then actually when you start getting all the cut petals overlapping, that's when it all seems to come together. I'm just going to sort out here. There's a, I'm not happy with the way that's flowing. So it's such an obvious flower now. Um, keeping the, the dark as the outside of the flower really works, but it's just highlighted by that, that sort of pale pink around the edge. The colours and the edges are beautiful. The greens have now got lots of bits of purple in, and pink interspersed, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on this. It is beautiful. It's all so sparkly. Um, the green cells popping up are just gorgeous. Uh, such a pretty base. Those two greens and the white working together work so well. Um, and then let me show you the actual flower. The gold and the iridescent um, red blue um, work, are just beautiful. They create the most amazing, such natural cells, organic looking cells and lacing. Um, look at these effects. Now, I think some of these cells appear because I'm using Flood Floritrol, but a lot of it is to do with the different types of paint I'm using, the different brands of paint, the iridescent paints. And I've just found that this combination of these four colours, are just they're just magical together. They just work so well. Loving those little green cells that are popping up around the edge of the flower. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Love these colours. So I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the dry result. It's dried beautifully. It's dried exactly as I left it. Um, there hasn't been any movement. Um, it's so pretty. It's very dramatic. Um, so it's a very, very obvious flower with the green around the outside. My favourite bits are these green cells. They are just so odd looking. Um, but you've got them all the way around. Just such bright bright green circles at the edge of the flower. Um, so let me show you the actual flower. I love the centre because it's not one colour, it's just a real mixture. Um, you've got some really beautiful lacing. Um, so, and it's defined by that darker purple. So really happy with that. The colours are gorgeous. I love that iridescent red blue um, and then the gold. And then around the edge, you've got the greens, but also you've got these hints of purple and pink within the green. So you can really see how some of the colours do get blown out right to the edge, um, but not in every spot, not in every place. So here are the three paintings all together. Um, I think I can just about get them all in focus. So the obvious difference is that the central one, the flower one, has the green. The other two don't have the green. But otherwise, the colours are all exactly the same. Um, they're a bit of um, a bit chaotic, was should I say, all three together. But the colour scheme just looks. I just I love it. It's, it's probably my favourite, new favourite colour scheme. Um, yeah, so really, um, really happy um, with them. Um, all the same size, all fifty centimetres. Um, I'll put I'll link the video for these other two pores in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Do you think they make a set of three or I think my, or maybe just three independent individual paintings? Um, really not sure. Let me know what you think.